So today we're going to talk about two modeling amps, specifically the LT25 and the Mustang GTX50. Me and Andrea went ahead and modified some sounds, so check it out. Hey, so I'm Jazz. And I'm Andrea. And you can find us at almomusic.com. And if you haven't already, turn on your notifications, like the video, and go ahead and leave a comment below, because we'd love to hear your feedback. So today we're going to talk about two of the modeling amps. It's going to be the LT25 and the Mustang GTX50. And this is great for anyone who is just starting to play the electric guitar or anyone who hasn't really experienced pedals yet. I remember yes. when I first started with a modeling amp, it was a Line 6. And uh, yeah, we're here to save you from that. Yeah, we're here to save you from the spider jam. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, no, that, those amps, they just sound like really brittle. They sound really brittle, really weak, and then it just, I just hated playing, to be honest. I never really plugged in my guitar. I got the amp and I was like, yikes, I'm gonna go back to my classical. That was yeah, the worst. Well, well that, and, and you, get, you get all the classic Fender amplifier sounds out of this too, or like just any, you know, just classic Fender stuff specific. You know, not, what is, sorry, Line 6, but what do y'all have? You know, you got the Spider Jam. The I don't want to model the spider jam. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, I'm sure there, there's some good line six amps, don't get me wrong. But uh, this one's super cool in particular, I think, because of the fact that you can model so many cool different amplifiers on it. That was one of my things for it. When I was like, Princeton? I was like, that's mm -hmm. it, Princeton on every preset. Like yeah. That and, and I'm a really, like, clean channel type, shoegazy type person. So when I was able to have that Princeton option, I lost my freaking mind. Same. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel uncomfortable playing them sometimes when they come to the floor. I'm like, oh, this is really expensive and beautiful and wonderful. Also, I have to work, so <laughs> I, can't, I, can't always, I can't always just try them out whenever <laughs> I want. But yeah, I agree. Princeton, super big, number one thing for me on this amplifier. For sure. So, I mean, just starting off, this is going to be your 25 watt amp. You got your 8 inch speaker here. You have your little aux inputs for your headphones and just auxiliary. Then you have an onboard tuner, which is super helpful all the time because I don't ever carry a tuner. I use my phone tuner and I hate it to the maximum. So that's super helpful. It's got 30 onboard, onboard presets and then you have like room for 20 more. The interface, super user friendly. Yeah. It was way easier than having to like hit buttons and I don't know what they mean or why they're happening. Or like five dials. Yeah, and there's like, the, yeah. then the delay acts all crazy. So there was no frustration in using this amp whatsoever. Super user friendly. So, I mean, if you're a beginner, if you're someone who's been jamming out for years, you'll be able to pick up this amp and definitely modify things to your liking, which is just freaking awesome. So another thing that was cool about this guy is that it models 25 amps and then it's got like 25 different effects that you can take away or add and that comes like modulation, uh, distortion, reverb, delay, uh, octave change. So you have all reverb. these effects. Yeah. yeah. All those effects that you can kind of just like take away and add and just make that sound your own which is super, super, super a thing for me because I don't conform to a lot of things. So I want everything yeah. to be the way that I want it. So that was very, very fun to do, very fun to jam out when yeah. I took it home. I didn't feel like frustrated or anything. I was like, well, I could literally do whatever I want. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, even the preset saved ones that are already, uh, you know, put on the amplifier, they sound good. Yeah, they, they already sound good. You don't have to do too much. It's at that point, it's just up to preference. Um, but yeah, like she said, it's super easy. It's very intuitive. And it's super light. Super light. <laughs> super light, which is a real plus. So yeah, this, this is the one that I suggest to a lot of like beginners and then for anyone who's like, oh, they've been jamming out so I can tell like they take a lot of pride and, and joy in that is with the, uh, with the GTX 50, it has 200 presets on there already. It models 40 different amps and you can still take away that modulation, delay, reverb, distortion, all that stuff on that guy. So, oh, and it's wireless. So you can literally record through these amps. If you download Fender Tone on your phone or your computer, you can <laughs> literally use these as kind of an interface, which is a money saver in my world. I learned and that today. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's sick, so dude. That's very awesome. That's yeah. sick. So you can go ahead and do That was cool about that. You can go ahead and do that. So this guy's wireless. So, I mean, that's just even better for all the updates when it comes to uh, software and presets you can go ahead and mess with it there. And that's what we did for you guys. We went ahead and messed with some presets, put them to our personal liking so we can show you guys the flexibility of these amps and we're just super excited for you to hear it. And another thing, before we jump to that, 
this guy comes with a little foot switch that I freaking loved. I bought that foot switch. It, you can like change the effects or the preset that you're on and it's got a little looper on it. So I was just able to go home, like change a preset to my liking, real shoegazy, sad stuff, mm -hmm. and then just leave rhythm on and then kind of just go with the lead and kind of just jam out. And it's just something that I encourage everybody to do, whether you're a full fledged, like amazing musician or you're someone who's like me and still very intermediate or beginner and I just want to figure out my sound or what I like best and so I was able to reach that potential and pull that out from myself with these amps and that's what we're here to show you guys so I mean we hope you like the demo check it out
Hey guys, thanks for uh, listening. Hope you liked that. Uh, not many people know that was actually my first time playing guitar. Uh, Chris actually taught me both of those licks that I played in those demo videos, so I hope you really liked them. Uh, yeah. No, yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, with the with the presets and oh, another thing I forgot to tell you guys really quick. I just wanted to let you guys know the specs on this guy. So it's got a 12-inch speaker and it's a 50-watt amp. Super important. But yeah, now that we're past that. Um, yeah, no, when I use a looper on this guy, I was able to just leave it on like Fender Clean, which is that first preset. It sounded really good. Like I just changed the little knobs on my SG, get a little bit of grain in there for the rhythm. Mm -hmm. And then when it came to the lead, just flipped that switch up. And I mean, I didn't have to do too much with the clean. Like on the Princeton, <laughs> it was very... Uh, simple to make something sound beautiful when it's when it's modeling that amp so yeah. I mean what did you what did you do with it because we went ahead and changed a new metal one oh, which is oh, surprising. We changed the new metal up a little bit but oh goodness gracious I don't really remember what we did to it uh it was I don't think it was too much though um that's actually believe it or not and to my, to my surprise that preset for me was mm -hmm. the one I actually liked the most because I don't really play or like new metal which is interesting much. you're like I hate that I'm not gonna be able I'm like dude you got it yeah. you're a guitar player you got it and the sound is gonna be good and it was real like full it it's was very, very full, full. Sounding. I like that a lot and it yeah it, it, on its own like I said I know, I'm pretty sure we didn't make too many changes to that I think we might even on your guitar you didn't mess with your guitar too much at I all. didn't mess with my guitar I think at all no it was no. all just the preset it yeah it was the just guitar. the preset kept everything going just a solid telecaster sounding like a Gibson Explorer I don't know Heck. you know <laughs> 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 thank you amp yeah. Um, yeah yeah so the new metal tone uh, and really, really enjoyed that And the that Blue one. Andrea. We did the Blue Andrea we, tone. Yeah, we did, we did a, the new metal. A, a oh, and Garage Kill. We did like a punk sounding Garage Kill thing, which was really fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did that Garage version. Uh, kind of like a White Stripes-y, Ty Seagal -y, like he really heavy fuzz tone on it. Um, so I cool. did enjoy the fuzz pedal sounds that came off of the Oh, Empire. the... What is it? What did we, the f the f what was it? The flanger. The flanger. The yeah, flanger. there was a flanger and on there. Like, we girl, with. if you make me like a flanger, I'm leaving. Because I was like, it'll work. It'll work. That's, that's right. <laughs> I and that's another thing about these amplifiers is there's pedals that I haven't tried. I have I have I don't know ten or so pedals, you know. Um, but you get kind of stuck in what you like. Yeah. And so you don't always go into a store and get the opportunity to try whatever pedal you want, or maybe you feel subconscious. Yeah. Maybe you don't like the salespeople there. Whatever. Maybe yeah. you you feel All uncomfortable valid. asking about that. So um, that was really cool about the amp. We just turned that flanger on, and I actually really enjoyed it. Again, very much to my surprise. See, you're finding a little niche in the whole new Yeah, I might even go buy a pedal now <laughs> just to get see. that emulation. Um, That's dope, dude. I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad you enjoyed jamming out because you. whatever you came up with, I was like, whoa! Yeah, and then, and then That's the, so cool. the blues one, the blues one was just, it was almost very clean, uh, but I, my preference is gain. I, I like a good amount of like grit on my clean channel, so um, I turned up the gain on that and a uh, little bit of spring reverb. That's like 65? That spring reverb. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it took, took care of the job. It just I, I like that tone. It sounds good. That's awesome. Yeah. We're really just hoping that this helps anyone. I mean, if you have any other questions, you can find us online at outlawmusic.com. We have a little online chat. That's Ethan. And if you call the store, you can ask for me, Jazz, and I'll be more than happy to help you or just navigate with anything, honestly. So, yeah. We hope you enjoyed this. We hope this is helpful. We hope it encourages you to play more music, and we'll see you next time.